Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers, the updated edition. This is like this is still in beta, I suppose. It's like what you'd. This is as close as you're going to get to 1.0 before the full release is possible. The developers have said. So it's this is like 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.95, or whatever you want to call it. This is basically like pretty much the final build by this point, besides some tweaks and small additions added on. Um, we are going to dive right in. So, first things first. New campaign. What do we want to call our Battle Brothers? We were called the Kurno Company the last time, but those poor brave fools who limped back out of the wasteland with so many of their brothers dead. I think we still call them... Sons of Kurno. They still need to fix that. The Sons of Kurno. We still put it, as always, on Veteran Mode, and we still put it on Iron Man. Now, Late Game Crisis. What do we want? Do we want War? Late Game... Do we want Green Skin Invasion? Late Game Crisis with roof, will be ruthless, a ruthless war for power between Noble Houses. Green Skin Invasion. Undead Scourge. Let's go with random for now, so we don't know what we're going to get. Um, the thing with picking a late game crisis and you knowing what you're going to get, it means you can tailor your forces apparent, app um, appropriately, and I don't really like that. Now, what crowns do we have? I wonder if they've got any new banners. That was one we had last time. No, they haven't got any new banners, it seems, which is a shame. Let's go with... Do we go with this banner? This is very sort of like Celtic feeling to it, which is... And you get all... These are all like Celtic knots. Maybe. I like... The reason I like this banner is because it has the Cornish colours in it. The black, gold and white, which is basically the... Cor which is what you normally get on the Cornish coat of arms. You normally have a... Um, yeah, it is... Uh, yeah, these basically the colours, so my brain's not working. I've only just woken up. Um, but yeah, these are the colours that you get in them, like in various forms of the Cornish coat of arms and on the flag. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe those have the same. Those have a small. That's gold and white. That's very Celtic. Let's try and be decisive, Sally Cornish. Let's go with the sun, for the sun never sets on Cornwall, though it does hide pretty damn well behind the clouds. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders, but it was them who found you first, an ambush, some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat, Arrows shooting from everywhere and nowhere, men ha hollering and screaming, a great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon and with the rest of the men, only to collapse to your knee, an arrow has punctured your side. In, in a shout, you shout in pain, a hurried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force, a steel clashes with steel. You meet the eye of the, of the captain, a last nod before his throat is cut, you're, you're left in command. Now... Your left in command now of what few men remain, trembling, trembling in pain. You lean on your sword, and with all, with all the will you can muster, you slowly rise again to the end. Okay, let's see what we've got. Great weapon user, that's going to be a pain. I need to shoot at him first. Oh yes, well done. Well reached? Well reached, we've got to change... All these guys are going to get renamed. Well reached, let's fly, so for now it's the berries in the man's leg. He sort of screams and sort of staggers back. As well reached, quickly grabs another bolt and slams it into place. We could jump in here. Missed. Okay, this is bad. Sealed wall. Oh. 
it, Tim. Anton. Curse you. To move here, shoot, and kill him. Ooh, lovely done. The boat just flies forward and just buries itself into the bandit's chest. Go on, reload. There's, ooh, this new music, I believe. It sounds awesome. They've put a couple new, I think there's one more new music track in. There might be two. And with decapitation, yes. Anton takes a little bit of damage. Anton the swine. No loot! Seriously? You're alive, you've won. The adrenaline fades and, and in its wake you are, can't help but sink back to the ground. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow shaft. Your chest heaves, pain, a pain for breath, everything burns. Yeah, you really don't want to snap the arrow shaft because then it makes getting the arrow head out a real pain. Because then you have to sort of rummage around inside trying to find it. The company has been devastated, cut down to but a few men. And um, with that bastard Hogart did justice to his name, fleeing like the weasel he is. What now, Captain? A voice says from behind you, behind. It's Anton the Swine who sits down behind you. Heading his blooded air axe on his leg. You turn to him to reply, but before you can answer, he continues. Bernard's dead. He, they slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader, but all it took was one mistake that makes you one in the one in charge now, doesn't it? Welts the hound joins the two of you still breathing heavily. Van Curie. Save the ceremony at announce at anoint anointments for another day. Let's give the men a good burial and return to Sand Camp. Comp Sand Comp? Sand Comp? Sand Comp? To collect the pay. The Woozle's men are slain after all, besides the captain, besides captain, and we ought to see to that wound before we lose you too. Wouldn't want to leave Wilts to Hound in charge, right? Battle site. A battle took place here a short while ago. Broken and lost equipment, bloodstains, and... Oh, that's nice. I like that. Now we can actually have, like, proof that where the battles are on the map, which is awesome. Let's see what how... Our... Oh, okay. This is a bad setup. To be honest... I say it's bad, I mean, a lot of the towns are close together up north, so if we're doing jobs that have to go around their territory, it won't be so bad. There's a lot more controlled districts, obituaries, no, 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 no one has basically need to put space in there, no one has fallen since you took command, so facts and relations, that's the new artwork. Interesting. They no longer have individual towns, like um, free towns, free villages. They're all under command of the single houses. Beware the wolf. Most members of House El uh, Berlin live secluded behind their thick doors and barred windows, and some some have not been seen for years. Rumor has it that these nobles' blood is plagued with madness and insanity, but no ordinary man dares to utter such claims in fear of their vengeance. Other noble houses mainly avoid contact to House Elbin. Urban, as guests may be greeted with open arms as well as crossbow boats. House Herdin, Hedin, a friend to a friend. House Hedin holds high principles of justice and honor without irrational rules ruling their regions to have prospered. Their reputation may be peaceful, but Herdin knights are battle hardened and their troops will furiously fight anyone threatening their realm. Subordinates subordinates to principles. Many nobles envy their wealth and ridicule their principles. House Elbin especially holds more or less overt grudge against head Hedin. House Rul Rulmut. House Rulmut we I despise. The House Rulmut is well known for its lavish lifestyle and back Betanel festivals. The price has to be paid by someone so half-starved cattle Empty granaries and desperate townsfolk are a common sight where house room rules. Although their noble houses may look down on such brutality and depletion, they are at the same time desperately awaiting for the next fe feast. Interesting. So now, from what I can tell, the Kerno, um, the sons of Kerno. Now there are still facts and relations. See, look, you have like um, the individual. Maybe it's all the settlements now have um, like a sworn allegiance to one of the factions, but they act independently. That's interesting. Like the new banners. Those new banners are awesome. 
life anyway. Ruins, camp. It's not a bad setup, to be honest, if we're looking at it. We've got. If we're going for, I suppose, most of the factions seems to have like a knot of settlements. This one's a bit more dispersed. And they are. House. Erblin. Erblin. House Erblin are more widely dispersed. You've got. House Hidden. 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 It's basically more compact up north, and then you've got the group in the middle that are basically. We can, ex we can increase the flow of time. Lock camera. Locks your camera to always be at the centre of your com mercenary company. That's nice. Centre camera. Ambition. You have not announced an ambition for your company to pursue. You may be asked to do so as the game progresses. Interesting. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay. So yeah, we can basically just go boink. We've got the camera locked on us so we can zoom out as much as we want. This is cool. I'm liking this. I think this is a really good thing. And off we go. So we can f speed in up time. That's interesting. What a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Sandcump. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down and their luck. The men who hired the company days ago, Kuhnbert of Sandcamp. No doubt expected your return to be more glorious, fast in more glorious in fashion. Oh, sorry, in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house, offers you bread and wine, while the servants fetch a healer. A few words are exchanged, except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends to your wounds. It's really interesting. They actually had a tool in the medieval period, um, like and, and in the Ro Romans actually, even in the Roman period, they had tools. One was to get sling, like sling sh shot out of you, and the other one was to get arrowheads. And they have like really interesting shapes. Like the tools had really interesting shapes of the head, which basically meant that they closed around the, the item in question and helped you get it out. A pain pierces your skin. The first, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one one break. Kuhn Berta Sandberg Sand Sandcamp Kump Sandkump sits behind beside you and asks if you took care of Hogart, you shake your head. We killed this man, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. The healer waves around waves around the glowing fire because suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod and he does so. For for a moment that's the, the, that's all there is. You're not a man but a pinch of fire, flesh fresh from the flame, a gleam a, a golem of pain. Kun Kun Bert of Sandberg hands you a cup of wine. You did well, Sail Sword. The brigand the brigand the brigands have been removed, though it's a shame that Hogart still lives. Actually, um unlike what most people believe, actually cauterizing a wound with fire is actually quite a bad thing to do because you're basically killing off skin. Um, it does stop it. It does stop like bacterial infection slightly, but at the same time, you're basically killing off skin, which will rot. So it's like a doomed if you do, doomed if you don't situation. We will expect you to get paid for this. Kernbert of, of Sandcamp gas. Well, naturally, 400 crowns as agreed upon. He just toward a servant who rushes you to your side with pay in hand. I wonder, may I use your service one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache at his Hogarth once and for all, and I'd pay you again another 400 crowns, shall we say. Anton the Swine scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Corey stands and speaks. Yes, the company is in ruins, but we have rebuilt, we will rebuild it without the sons of Colonel. Anton the Swine would drink cra the, cra his, the crowns away and end up begging on the streets. We'll reach, we'll reach the hound by the gods. We all know he'll go chasing the womenfolk until one stove his rotten head in. We need the sons of Kerno. It's all we have. What do you say, Captain? Anton the Swine burps and raises his cup while Wilps the hand playing fully even thumbs his nose and nods. Kill that bastard Hoggart or not. We're up, we're up. It's up to you, Captain. Yes, we have unfinished business with Hoggart. Kunbert of Sambo claps his hands together. Excellent. My little birds, we need some time to find where Hoggart is, hide, is, is hiding his hide now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on supplies so it will be good and ready for the end. This, to end this when the time comes. I'll see you in the few days' time at the latest. If you leave, you leave Conbert of Sand Camp House and stand on the outskirts of Sand Camp. Corey seeks a word of you. We need more men, Captain. I know you gave we I gave a big speech back there, but Bravado won't do shit. We need more warm bodies in the ranks. Figures we had three good men. Buy some decent weapon and dress for the best armor we can afford. The men man pauses to glance around. I bet the, this bunt 
Sudburdonk for a town got a desperate peasant or two looking for a good life. Or we could travel to Sudburg in the southwest. The towns are always as hardy as these country bumpkins, but they're more likely to find man with fighting experience stopped stopped to rest there. Right here. Ooh, the loading is increased as well, that's nice. Okay, this town is really bad. I'm not lying. I mean it's got a temple and a basic well, who have we got? Taylor and a couple of fishermen. I might take the tailor because I might be able... Herbert is always an odd boy growing up, fancying good dress, skilled dresses instead of girls beneath it. Unfortunately, a man fancying good fabric, Herbert, Herbert is, is won't to, want to do. Left tailorizing ostracized for many a village. Left now, the tailor looks for new life, no matter where it ta takes him. Tailors don't seem to fit for combat, but then again, neither did most of the men. You, we take him in case we can basically get uh, not used to physical labour. Used to physical labour. Conrad loved the sea and ser the serenity of the fishing along the water. As long as there was a wa was no storm, he was out there fishing day in, day out. But disaster struck when his wife died just during childbirth shattering all that he had held dear. Visiting a tavern one evening, a new opportunity presented itself with the promise of coin for dangerous work. We'll take him. We'll take this guy, though he's expensive. I'm hoping we can get some hides. Okay. Oh, this is the morale system. Have a 20% chance to start the battle in confident mood. Dissatisfied, 25% lost most of the company. He's gluttonous. Haste, mine, he's hesitant, minus. These are like all the new perks. This is interesting. What has he got? Short, melee damage, that's not great. And faint hearted. No, that's not fantastic, to be honest. So let's name these guys, shall we? Welch the Hound. That won't do. Let's let's take out the list of names of people who survived from the last encounter. So he'll become to totally the hound. Anton, who is gluttonous, it means he eats more food. Uh, well, at least he can fight. I don't like the swine. We sell. Who else survived our little encounter? We had. Seamod survived. We had Mr. Twisted, Liffy, Asdaf, Hawkin. Uh, we call it, let's call this one Asdaf, and we're here we call known as mm, the Swine. No. He does have the glutton perk though, so we have to do something like that. Uh as the round? Hmm. Let's call him well fed. As the well fed. I'm just doing it because he has like the gluttonous thing. Cory, we so call him Liffy. Have I stated if you want a, na a character named in this Let's Play, just drop me a comment in the comment section below. He hasn't really earned the title yet. Herbert, we'll call him Mr. Twisted. Who should we have? C mod. There we go. Let's check out what we've got in this. Oh, God, this. That's not bad. Can you use that? Um, but there's got like no armor here whatsoever. Shield, perhaps. 
Um, that axe is expensive. something that's better than that, but even so... Right. We're down to Sudberg. I get the feeling that's one of the capital cut cities. Whoa, yes, yes. Let's, I actually want to check. Let's see what they actually have, because it should be when we hold over it. Yeah, Temple and Harbour. Now we can actually see what's in the settlement. A small fishing village which only has a temple and a harbour. They are open towards us. That's good. So let's speed up time a bit. I don't know how much I'm going to use the speed up time option. As Sunberg Sky appears on the horizon, totally the, the hound seeks totally the hound seeks a word with you. Never been to Sudberg before, but I've been around ones that cities look a lot like it. Cities like these like these are great for selling goods, as all these prissy pompous prickling loves to have their good goods delivered. With so many merchants, they can find almost anything you need. To keep an eye out for bargains, but don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants. As to after wealth, as to after well fed sees fit to add his own opinion on, on what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say that we should go go we should go first. Nothing helps a man down on his luck more than a good pint. God's knows we've earned it. Totally the hound shakes his head. You say that every time we stop in a town. You say that even when we're already drunk. I don't know how much I'm gonna expend time probably on travelling. But I, I, I have worries about quick travel. Okay, that's lock contract lock. Once a contract by another house owning this um, fortification is available here, but they don't recognise your worth of their attention. Increase your renown and fulfil your the ambition for a noble house is to take notice in order to unlock. That's interesting. We actually have to do stuff to unlock the ambition of the, having a noble house. There's no tavern here, though there is an armourer. Weaponsmith. Here are some of the new weapons. Oh, awesome. We've got a war pick or crow's beak, depending. I can't remember what the French is for it. Um, that's cool. We've got some nice stuff here. Nothing that we can afford. Oh, the heavy crossbow. This is the new This is the new heavy crossbow, people. Um, if, you, if you haven't noticed it, normal crossbow. This is like the heavy crossbow for, um, for the game. Oh, it looks so cool. There's the war bow. It looks sweet, I'm not going to lie. The war bow still has range and does less fatigue, but this does more damage and ignores more armor and gets through more armor. So if you're going for like a good anti-armor build, I suspect that heavy crossbow is where you want to go for it. It is super expensive. Any new armors? None that we can see. I didn't. I know. I had a feeling there weren't going to be any new armors, but I just had to check. Let's see. Do they have anything that we can scavenge down here for a cheap price? Uh, not really, to be honest. Um, though we do need something that's usable. All this stuff here is massively expensive. Um, there's a pike really beaten up crossbow some warhounds tools aren't too bad here food isn't too expensive either I might make this place the, my base of operations for a little bit I probably need to get one I need to probably get one more person there isn't really any uh, I could take that I suppose Grab a shield. Yeah, grab a shield. Grab a spear. Go to the market. Is there someone here we can hire? What's he like? Deserter. 
he won't put much up much of a fight, and he's really expensive. Curses. I might have to go back to the village and get someone. But we've got a whole lot of really interesting people here. So he needs to have the best armor. Who's the blo who's the, which is the one with the best armor? This is the one with the best armor, so he can have that. You can have that. 50, 65. Uh, actually, who is the one that got, who's got here? Yeah, okay, you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. 35, 55. I need to get him a helmet, really. That's still affecting me with that kick, with that slight kick out. We need to hire one more man, but uh, really, they're gonna force me to hire the deserter. But he's like massively expensive. Fine. How much gold? We've got five days worth of gold. Okay, he's irrational. I mean, he's not fantastic, to be honest. He came with a spear, at least. Gotta have to sell some stuff, though. I'm not happy about this. We're not going to get very much for it either. Uh, who should I give that to? I'm going to give that to him. First day, save yourself from bleeding. Ooh, finally, they've actually fixed this. Yes. Um, this was something that they used to have in the game, that they've changed. they had changed it. I think that's what people were saying. But basically, bandage ally costs remove bleed status effect, remove thrust cut artery. And there we go. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's really good. And we'll give. We'll give the net to him in case we actually have to throw the net onto something. Okay, that's workable, I suppose. Um. little bit of money. I need a hood. I really need a hood for one of my guys. 30, 30. I'll go with that because I don't really like the straw hats because they don't actually offer any protection. Sorry, wrong slot. So what's his name? Dufter Turncoat. Well, who should we call? Let's call this one Williams. Williams turncoat. Actually, no, I know who she. I know. I'm sorry about this, SK. SK, if you're listening to this, it's nothing personal. Um, but you did basically run off and basically leave us. So it only seems fitting that you become SK the turncoat. Grab another hood. Uh, this one's battered. I need to sell some stuff just to recoup some of my money. Right, yo. Morale is not too bad. He's hurt, but he should be f healed soon enough. We've got enough food to last us a bit, and a little of our tools are okay. Oh, it said recruit three more men. But it's gonna make us it was gonna make us recruit them from there no matter what, so we'll go back here quickly. We'll speed up the timer. Just I'm I'm just paranoid with this timer. 
with the fast movement thing because the enemies move at the same speed you do. Kernbert of Sand Camp is pacing back and forth when he finds him. The healer who's down there killed you with his fire poker is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Kernbert of Sand Camp clasps hands together. Finally, you're here. I have good news. We got hold of one of Hogarth's former men. My my good friend here has talked has nice little talk with the man. I know where Hogarth is licking his wounds. The healer clears his throat, sprawling his fingers out like a maiden looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he's about to he's about to excise. The br the brigand known as Hogarth is hiding in a small hut on the hills to the southeast of here. Based upon my mo our most civil discussion with one of his men, Hogarth knows the sons of Kerno is on his heels and have gathered more men since the last time you've met him. Nodding, Kernbert of Sand Camp waves you off. Good luck, Cell Sword. Right, there he is. It's nice, actually, that he has a little base now. That's cool. But we're going to leave it there today, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Cornish Knight, and this is Season 2 of Battle Brothers with the Sons of Kerno. If you want your name added to the party roster, please leave a comment in the comment section below stating as such if you wish to subscribe please press the subscription button i am always happy to see it if you press the like button i'll be equally happy to see it or you can look me up on facebook and twitter at the links provided below i wish you all a great day and see you back on monday for the next episode of battle brothers season two goodbye <laughs>